37 to uh, 27. There's Mickey Hart from the uh, Grateful Dead. And, and that's his wife, Carol, C A R Y L, on the right. And then my wife, Lori, on the far right there. And we're just having a great time courtside. Things could not be better here. What the Kings have done here has just been absolutely incredible. We had a, a conga line coming from our pregame reception in. There was over 400 people. Mickey driving that train, leading the parade. That's Mike behind him, onto the court. <laughs> this was so much fun. We've done this so many times in places around the world. In between the first and second quarter, a check presentation on behalf of the Rex Foundation. Sandy Sokot, the executive director right there. Mickey Hart as well, the King Dancers. They're out there. Mickey right in tune with the beat and the pace. And $5,000 donated by the Kings to the Rex Foundation. And then Joe and Gavin called me just before the presentation and said, $5,000, we're going to match that with $5,000 of our own personal dollars. That's awesome. So it was absolutely incredible. So $10,000 to the Rex Foundation. The Kings could not have been better in this entire promotion. How old were you when you became a deadhead? I was 15, 15. years old. Okay. Yes. So that's been a lifelong... It was 1967, Jerry. Wow. And it was incredible. And I heard him on the radio and the DJ said, now look, last week there was a concert in San Francisco and so many people showed up that, if, that everybody got in free. So they're playing again this weekend in L.A. And if every one of you guys listening show up, I bet you get in free too. And so we did. That. We fought our way to the front of the stage, just like D'Alembert and DeMarcus are out there fighting for position. Yep. We got to the front, and I got on the bus. It that's was awesome. unbelievable. I've been that's, to that's an amazing nearly, story. nearly 800 shows over 43 years, and they're my best friends. That's How incredible. many concerts did you say you've been to of the Grateful Dead? I missed that. How many? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough, but... In the 800 number. 800 number. 800. Oh, that's only 20. That's less than 20 a year. Wow. I mean, how many basketball games have you been to? <laughs> yeah, well, a lot more than 800. <laughs> right. Marion with a quick move, foul. And they'll uh, inbound on the side. They're going to say the foul was before the move to the basket. But the synchronicity between the Grateful Dead and the rock music and the NBA is it's just it's so perfect. It's creativity. It's imagination. It's teamwork. It's taking an idea and building a dream. And it's the teamwork. It's, it's all just fantastic. And we are living that dream here tonight. Now, synchronicity, did, what, did you learn that at UCLA or was that prior to your education? No, I learned that at my first Grateful Dead concert. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just checking, so we yeah. won't hold UCLA responsible for what you're saying. <laughs> Here's Perea, and Luther had found him. And two free throws upcoming for Perea, and a chance to make it a four-point game. No need for Luther Head to, to, to be violent out there. He's bigger. He's powerful. When, when you're the king, as you are with the Grateful Dead, or when you're on top of the world, you just wait back there. Be gentle around the ball. Be explosive, be fierce, be tough and tenacious away from the ball. But when you come in contact with that ball, like your girlfriend, got to be really smooth and nice. 